Fun. Maybe the winner of the day, <laughs> the New York Knicks. Your thoughts on the Knicks, Bob? Yeah, the Knicks have done it. Just going back, these things are interesting. I um, When they vote for executive of the year, they, they normally take the team that uh, exceeded expectations. Yeah. The Knicks front office over the last few years has really put themselves in a great position of, of relevancy for one, but they're, they're set up so well. They have a lot of players that are above average. They've got a, a, a star in Brunson who wasn't a star when they signed him. So to have the foresight to see what he could be, everybody sees it now, how great Brunson is. When they signed him, some people said it was an overpay. And now look how great the guy is. Randall's played better. The concern I have about the Knicks, and this is, might upset some people, is um, who's their second best player? And you would say Julius Randle, um, right right there, that guy. Okay, fine, it's Julius Randle. I think we all need to see Julius Randle play very well in the playoffs. I'm not saying he can't, but he hasn't been consistent in the playoffs yet. So you can take Bogdanovich, you can take Alec Burks, you can take an OG Anobi, you can take all these guys and say, okay, we've got a really deep, good team. Who's the second best player on that? I can, we talk about Phoenix, I'll give you a bad example. In a playoff game, I could see Beal going for 30. I could see Durant going for 30. I could see Booker going for 30. No problem. Not a problem at all. I could see all of them doing it. On this Knicks team, Brunson's going to get 30 in the playoffs for sure. Is Randall? Is Randall going to go so, six so, for 15? So, so, or, so, you're not so, gonna so say that's my man? question about the Knicks. Why are you pointing? No, but, because, see, see, Bob, you. see, Bob, when you get on here, you get to talking. You know, other people get to being quiet. But What's your Richard, question, just, bro? Richard just said earlier in the show, see, I got a problem when we pulled up those odds and the Knicks wasn't in, like, one of the favorites. That's a problem for me because they're the second best team in the Eastern Conference. So my thing is, Richard made a, a, a hell of a statement earlier about there this New York the Knicks, Knicks team. Knicks ahead of the Bucks right now. Yeah, exactly. The Knicks, he, uh, so listen, Will Boy, Richard said that the Knicks team, team remind him of the 2004 Detroit Pistons. That was a great... Oh, say it again. Say it louder. No, I'm saying... Totally. No. They say he agree. Oh. Yeah, but there was nobody... There was no Boston... First off, what Bob is doing... I want to be Bob's agent because what he's saying right now <laughs> is worth like hundreds of thousands of dollars in actual consulting. Secondly, there was no Boston Celtics in 2004. Look at the, look at the mountain they have to climb. One of the reasons they won it in 2004 is because the league was very average. So what? he's not well, a they, fair they, they beat the Lakers. They beat the Lakers. They beat the Kobe and Shaq and They beat us. We went to two straight NBA finals. They beat us. We can't do that. We can't do that. We beat the Celtics the last two years. By the way, they sent Paul Pierce. They sent Reggie Miller home. Go ahead, Rob. These Celtics have a whole lot to prove. Thank yep. you. Amen. Oh, that's fine. They would have crushed your nets. They would have crushed your nets. What? Listen, you know what? See, these this guys, is what this reminds Celtics, me of. I'm not giving them benefit of the doubt. We had a random building. We had a random building. These Celtics. Uh, these believe, Celtics. We have, don't trust them. No, -uh, not yet. In, in, I don't trust these bucks right now. Bob either. just, like, put something in a pot, put the lid on it, and it's boiling over just when you're <laughs> running out the door. I want to try to say what I look like. Thank <laughs> you.